Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to this channel, my name is Keely, and on this channel we like to do a lot of plant shopping, uh, plant hauls, just pretty much anything plants. So if that is something that interests you and you'd like to hang out with us, don't forget to subscribe. So today we are at Lowe's and I did get a uh, $25 gift card for my birthday. And so I thought we can go on into Lowe's and see what we can get for $25. I'm kind of looking for a cacti to go in my cactus corner and maybe a pot to go with it. But we will go in and check out what they have. Of course, we will check out their plant, their house plants as well. Um, so let's go on in and see what we can get for $25. Hey, you guys, we are in the outdoor section and... We have some cacti here. These ones are $7.98. But they have more over here. So this is only $20 for this Opuntia. And they have this fuzzy one, $26.98. And the Golden Barrel, $24.98. And this Euphorbia, the zigzag, it's only $19.98, and that's super cool. I kind of want that one. And they have a False Saguaro, $19.98. Looks like all they have for cactus. So let's go in and look at the house plants. So it doesn't look like they have too much here. They still have the little samurai and the um, cylindrical. And then some Diffenbachia, Peace Lily, Croton, and Pothos. Looks like they have some ferns up here. And then a Freddy for $12.98. African Mask for $12.98. And they have this, is this a blue fern? Twelve ninety eight. Twelve ninety eight on that. Oh, look how cool this is. Looks like it's gonna flower. Um, Four ninety eight for that. Oh, this one does have a flower. Super cool. The coffee plant, and they do have a couple um, arrowhead. This leaf is really thick. Feels weird. And then they have the clearance shelf over here. It looks like Croton Mum. Is that a Mum for three dollars? These pots, five dollars for this, and they have, oh, you guys, this is only five dollars. I really want this pot. I don't really want the ivy, but if you watched my, I think it was my last plant adventure, I was saying I really wanted one of these pots, and this one's seven for the cat, but the witch is only five. Hmm. And then they just have ZZ plants over here, $14.98 for that one. And they have the um, Arabian, I mean, the Fabian stump, $14.98. Adenium, $14.98. 
And they just have spider plant, some hanging pothos, hanging fern. And those are all $7.98 and $8.98. These little air plants are $7.98. Crotons. Here's one prayer plant. Super dry. $6.98 for that. And then they have these little, these ones are like um, Christmas, winter. $14.98 for that. Let's go see what they have on the other side. And they have the Aglonema Silver Bay down here for $14.98. And the bamboo for fifteen ninety eight, and a money tree in the glued in rocks for nine ninety eight. Here's a money tree that's not glued in rocks for six ninety eight. And then the bromeliad seven ninety eight. The crested euphorbia. $9.98 and then here's the um, lemon button fern, is that what it's called? $12.98 and this carnivorous, so it's $5.98 Pothos, Marvel Queen Pothos. Oh, how sad. Okay, so they don't really have any house plants here that I would want to buy. There's some orchids. And they have a huge African mask. And this one is $24.98. It's big. And then they have like a little mixed basket here for $16.98. And then some crotons in those orange pots. This is really pretty and it's already in a pot and it's, it's only $16.98. It's pretty cool. Just some crotons and peace lilies. And then back around to this little section. So not too much here but let's go back outside. I think I'm going to grab this pot on my way out. I'm going to get the witch one. It's so cute. I guess I'll have to keep the ivy alive. Even though I always get spider mites on the ivy. But I really want this pot. Okay, let's go back outside. So I'm thinking one of these like lower wider pots and they're $7.98 and I have a saucer at home so I think I'll grab one of those because I don't know if I want to put it in the taller pot I think that shorter wider one will be better and they have I think that size will fit it's a 10.5 inch and that one is probably too small, so we'll go with that one. All right, let me get that, and then I'm gonna go get the cacti, or the euphorbia, and then... Okay, so I'm back here at the euphorbia. 
and I'm just trying to decide which one I want. They all look pretty good, except for this one, maybe it has a big hole in it. But some of them have little leaves on the top. Some of them have three in one. That one back there only has one. That one has two. That one looks super dangerous. Look how big those spikes are on that. I think I'm going to get one with three in it. Okay, let me grab one and then I'll um, meet you guys in the car. Okay, you guys, so I did end up getting the zigzag euphorbia. And then I also got that shorter, um, wider pot for it. And then I also did end up getting the pot with the ivy in it. Um, but I really wanted this pot. It was $14.98 originally. And they had it on clearance for $5. So I did get it. Um, I can't just kill the ivy because I don't want it. So I'm going to have to keep the ivy alive. I'll just have to keep it sprayed down, misted, something. Because... I always end up getting spider mites on my ivy, but I couldn't pass up the pot. It was so cute. So I'm so happy that I got that. And then, um, so I did go over on the gift card. The gift card was only $25. And so um, the pot with the ivy in it was $5. And then the euphorbia was $19.98. And the pot was $7.98. So the total came to $34.39. Um, so I did go over a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I did get the pot. So we are going to go to my house and repot the euphorbia. So I will meet you guys there. Hello, everybody. Okay, so we are back at my house now. And this is the zigzag euphorbia that I chose. It does have three in one, so that is why I got it. And then I also got it because it was growing a new little arm here. So I thought this one was pretty good. And the pot that I originally picked for it is this one here. And it is the 10 and a half inch. And I think that it will be okay in here. I just don't want it to be too big. So I might go just a little bit smaller and put it in this one. So I'm not too sure. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the smaller pot for now. And then um, if I think that it needs to go in the bigger pot, I will put it in the bigger pot. But, so I'm just gonna set that one to the side. So I'm going to first put on these plastic um, gloves and then I'm going to put on these gardening gloves and this should help. Um, I have probably five cuts on my hands right now from cleaning my cactus corner and watering all the cactus the other day. So I already have cuts on my hands. So. Hopefully this will prevent it too bad. So first I'm going to take it out of the pot here. Loosen up some of that dirt. Okay, so it came out pretty easy. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. So let's check out the roots. This is the root system, if you guys can see. It does have tons of roots. So this one is doing very well. When I got my white ghost euphorbia, I repotted some of the smaller ones that I had and their root system was not this large. So this plant seems to be doing pretty well. And I'm just loosening up some of the dirt here. I'm not really going to take too much of it off just because I don't want to disturb the plant too much. 
but I just want to kind of loosen it up here and let me see how it fits in here. So I think it fits pretty good. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good in this one. Like I said, um, if for some reason I see that this plant isn't doing so well, I will put it in a different pot. But I think for now it will be okay in this pot. I'm just trying to clean off some of the soil off of the spines that I got on there. But I think the placement of this one looks pretty good. And I'm just going to kind of shove the soil that it already has down in here. And then I will fill it up with the soil that I have sitting here next to me. So my soil mix is, I have perlite, ocean, um, perlite orchid bark, and um, some worm castings in it. So let's open it up here. And I'm just going to put some, fill it in here on the top. Whoops. And I really don't need too much just because I didn't take so much of the soil off of the plant. And I was going to do this outside, but you guys, it's like 80 something degrees out there. So it was kind of hot. So I just decided to do it inside. So for the most part, I think this looks pretty good. I am going to put it over in my cactus corner so it gets um, south facing sun all day long and I'm sure it will love it over there but I am going to show you guys that part of my living room um, probably coming up here this week and I'm super happy with this plant so I just want to thank you guys for coming with me to Lowe's and picking out this zigzag euphorbia with me and then coming and repotting it with me. Just thank you for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more plant videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.